Hello there and welcome back to Steam It with Steve. Today we're going to start our journey on our tiny house development using the program called SketchUp for Schools. Now this is an amazing online program um, and we're going to learn how to, today basically how to build the walls in our um, tiny house. So let's start with the plan that we're going to cover today. So we're going to have a look at drawing a hand-drawn floor plan, which is what I've done here, so you can see. So the idea behind that is it basically will let me um, work out what the measurements are before I actually get out and start using the program. This saves you a lot of time. So it doesn't have to take a lot of time, but spending two to three minutes invested in just quickly roughly sketching it out is very useful. We're then gonna learn how to build the rectangle um, floor. So we're gonna create the floor that's gonna be 12,500 mil by 4,500 mil. We're then gonna use the offset tool, which will then allow us to create a smaller rectangle inside of that large rectangle, which will basically allow us to build the cavity for the walls all the way around. We then will learn how to use the push and pull tool. So then that we actually create the walls, which will be 2000 mils or what, two meters. And then we're gonna tag the floors and the walls. That will allow us to make them invisible. So when we're doing, um, I don't know, complex work inside of the, the bathroom, we can actually remove the walls. So then we don't have to see them and it's a bit easier on us as well. So let's get into actually using the um, SketchUp for school. So let's just log into google.com. And here we go. So if we go up to here, top right, you just click on that and slide all the way down out of all the apps and you'll find SketchUp for schools down the bottom here. You can also alternatively log into the website, um, which I think is ed edu.sketchup.com. And the benefit of being part of the Google network is your Google Drive and all the files get saved automatically onto it. So you don't have to go back and forth and save it, download the files on a computer and save them there. It's all done remotely up on the cloud. Like you can see some of the examples I've played around before. So up here, we're gonna click on this one instead of create new, because we want to do the metric system. So we're gonna go decimals and millimeter, and we're gonna click on this guy. Awesome, so we're here. Now you can see all the tools over this side, the project options down here, the measurements down here, and then descriptions of what the tool does down here in the bottom left. And then also up the top here, as you can see the saved file. So we're gonna save our file first whenever we start off in um, SketchUp. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna log into my 10 ISD folder and I'm just gonna save it there. So we're gonna go tutorial one walls. Okay, and we're saving. So it's saving, 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 and now it's saved. So, and that's how easy it is to save it up on the Google Drive, which I think is amazing. Right, let's build our rectangle prism for the beginning. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna use the one, two, three, four, five, six option down. So you can either press the R key or click on this guy. So the first option out of that one, and we just find a space to click. So we're gonna click somewhere over here, just so we're away from the little person. And what you should see down the bottom here, see how the measurements are moving around as I move this? Okay, which is kind of cool. So you can see um, how accurate it is. Now, as I go this way, up and down, do you see that it changes the second option? Whereas when I turn left and right, it changes the x-axis option, okay? So um, I wanna go horizontally. I'm gonna go 12,500, and then I'm gonna go type in comma, and then 4,500, sorry, and then enter. Epic, so if I just use the hand tool, we can move across here, so I've just pressed H. Well, there's a few other options. Um, oh, another cool option I found is if you press the middle mouse button, and then the left mouse button, it also uses the hand tool, which could save you a lot of time. Um, so if we go down here, we've got this. And now what we want to do is use the offset tool. Okay, so we've built our rectangle. We're going to then use the offset tool, which is F. So down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventh option down, it's got the push pull tool. We click on that and then it's got the third option here for the offset. So instead of pushing and pulling it out, we go down here to the offset tool or you could have pressed F. And what you'll find is it basically will shade in the center of this rectangle now. Okay. Now we basically want to build a rectangle that's inside the rectangle. So we just find the edge, make sure that the mouse is in the middle of the plane and then we click. And now wherever we move that mouse, it will draw that rectangle. 
okay which i think is pretty cool from that edge so we want it to be 100 mil because that's how wide the walls are going to be so we type 100 in okay and bam it's done okay which i think is pretty cool so you got these two different planes now so now we're going to go and use the push pull tool so we come across here click on the this act this separate um area now and see as i move that up and down it goes and builds our wall which is pretty cool so we're going to manually type that in so we want this to be two meters so we'll go two zero zero and awesome okay so then if we use the hand tool again zoom on out we can now see our building cool so then the last step that we want to cover today is then how to tag these objects so that, that will allow us to make these invisible so if we're working for example inside the belt um, bathroom which is going to be over here we want to hide these walls sometimes so that we don't um, get confused what goes where so to do that super simple we'll go to the select tool right and then we'll come across here to the tag tool so it's the one two three four five six seven so this is the tag properties and we're going to build a floor first so up the top here is the little plus symbol we click on that guy and we'll go floor f l o o r and then we'll click on OK. And that's built our floor. Now, this is how easy it is to tag something. All you got to do is literally click on the object and then click on the area that you want it to be. So with this little tag that you see here, right? I don't know if I can get it. Yep. So that one there, basically at the very tip of it, you'll see a tag. We need to click that in the area. So I'm going to click that in that area. So now if I click on the little eye up here, it makes my floor invisible. Now there's a bit of a hack you can do with the um, other walls. You could potentially go around, right? And click on each of these walls. So if I make a new one and we'll call this wall, sorry, walls, and then we go, okay. If I click on the wall and then come over here and click on that wall, what you'll find is um, when they draw these 3D objects, we've only clicked on the inside of the wall. So that they're actually hollow which is quite interesting. So if I click again, now I will be able to see all the way through, but then you'll see all this stuff around the edge here with the vertices, so the, uh, sorry, the edges, the tops and whatnot. Okay. Which can be a bit gnarly. So you have to spend this big click fest. So instead of doing that, I've got a bit of a hack to show you. So instead of doing that, basically we undo, you can undo all that, click on the select tool. All right. And we're going to select everything inside this box. All right, so just move it across. So we've now got everything selected. And all I'm going to do is shift click on the floor. So by shift clicking on that floor, I've now deselected that. All right, and then I'm going to go across here to walls. So see how it's got no dots on it now? I'll click on the wall that I want, which is this one here. But because it's selected with everything, it's actually now selected everything. <laughs> how cool is that? Cool. So now you've built this, the next step we're going to try and do in the next video is we're going to build a wall here for the bedroom, and then we're going to build one over here for the bathroom. Okay. So hopefully you've picked up something there today. Um, you should understand now how to use the rectangle tool to build the base, building the walls, and then um, using the offset tool to bring it out. Um, the last bit then was using the tag tool. So that way we can hide and make things invisible. So thanks again. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps with our YouTube algorithm here. And yeah, see you next time on Steam with Steve. Adios.